Sometimes you get a great app idea, but you don't have your laptop with you. What if I told you that now you could build a complete mobile app directly from your phone? Yes, directly from your phone. No computer, no complex setup. You can build front end, back end, everything. Rocket.new just launched their iOS app, and now you can build apps straight from your iPhone. So let's jump in and build our first app. All right, let's actually start building the app. First, you need to download the Rocket.new mobile app. Just open the App Store and search for Rocket Pocket Studio. I will also leave the direct App Store link in the description box below so you can install it easily. This is the app, just tap Get Install It and once it's done, you can just open it. Now the app is open, first step is create an account. You got a few options here, you can continue with Apple, continue with Google or sign up using your email. If you already a Rocket.new user, you can just sign up with your existing email, that's what I am doing. Once you are logged in, you will notice something important, all the projects you have created on the web show up here automatically so anything you build on your laptop accessible your phone and anything you build on your phone can be opened later in the browser so now you can see let's start building something so you don't need to be a prompt expert for this i am keeping everything simple so i will just type create an app to track my goals that's it no complex instructions so now you can see i will send this prompt now rocket start guiding the process it asks what kind of app i want to build web app mobile app or internal tool or a website so i will just select the web app Next, it asks the framework. You can customize it if you want, but I'm going to use the default framework option here. Now let's start building the app. At this point of time, Rocket is generating the full structure, screens, logic, and the layout. Once the preview is ready, I will show you exactly how the app looks like and how it works. So as you can see, the app is now generated. First, let's take a look at the code. If I switch to the code section, you can see all the files right here, the readme, the HTML file, JavaScript files, everything that makes up the app. And the important part is, this is not even locked. You can open any file, read it and even make any changes data if you want. Now let's go back to the preview, here's the goal dashboard you can see. You can add new goals, see the analytics and view your own goals in one place. What's interesting is that, it's already styled properly, yes. Images, animations, layout, even though I never described any of that in a prompt. I just wrote simple sentence in plain English and it actually works. You can interact with it, click around it or use the features. Right now goals won't like save because we haven't connected a database yet which is expected so let's do that next. To add integrations you can click to the more button right here. From here go to the integrations and you will see a long list. Superbase, Recent, Stripe, Google Analytics, AdSense, OpenAI, Twilio and lot more. I am going to connect the Superbase. You can either link an existing project or create a new one directly from here. I will create a new project, give it a name, let's call it like a goal and enter the database password. Once that's done, I will create a new project, Superbase project and here you can see now I will close this and go back. If I open the chat again, I can simply type something like add Superbase integration and even easier rocket already suggested for me. And now I will just click on the suggestion and send it. If I open the chat again, now you can see we have sent this and at this point rocket start integrating Superbase automatically. Once this finished, the app will be ready to store data properly and we can keep adding more features from here. Here you also need to click on push to Superbase. This usually takes around 5 or 6 seconds and once it's done, you will see the result. Now you can see we have a proper login and a sign up screen. So when a real user opens the app, they can create an account or login. I will login using the demo credential that Rocket.new provides. And now that I'm inside, you will see something important. There is a no goal yet. That's because we have connected a real database, so everything is now stored properly. This is basically how inter integrations work actually. So now you can see once they are added, the app actually start behaving like a real product. Now let's add one more thing. I'm going to add a dark mode. I will just type add dark theme and send it. That's it. After a few seconds, Rocket.new applies the changes automatically. And now you can see here, Rocket.new applies the changes. And now we can see the dark theme is live. We can switch views and explore it right away. And this is the really point of the video, you can keep adding features like one by one by using simple instruction. If something breaks, you can just tell Rocket.new to fix the issues. If you want something new, you can ask for it. That's how you can keep building and improving the app step by step. Well, right now, let's talk about the final step launching your app. For that, you can go back to the more section. Here you will see options to launch on a custom domain or publish using Netlify. If you already have your custom domain, you can simply connect it from here and launch your app to your custom URL. Just click on the custom domain option and follow the steps and you are live. If you don't have a custom domain, you want to publish it for free, you can use Netlify. This lets you develop your app for free and get a shareable link. Once it's published, you can copy the link and share it with your friends, teammates or clients to get a feedback. If I open the link, you can see it gets loaded like a normal website. The app works, you can log in, interact with it and just use like any other live product and that's basically it. 
This is how you can create, improve, and launch your first app using Rocket.new iOS app. I will link the App Store link in the description. So if you want to try it out, if you have any question, drop them in comments. I will try to answer that. I will meet you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.